Absolutely. On the screen, that's really uh, data for people inside the car to understand what the vehicle is seeing and experiencing and what it's planning to do. So on that screen, you're seeing a green carpet that is the planned trajectory or path that it's going to take. And then you see different color boxes and that's really the identification of different things in the environment. So you'll see purple boxes, those are other cars. Sometimes there's a little parked symbol that is indicating that we know that that vehicle is parked. You'll see pedestrians in little yellow boxes um, and you'll see cyclists when those come around as well. Yeah, I mean, the ultimate goal for us really is to um, make the roads safer. And so a self-driving car is never drunk. It's never distracted. You know So we start out with the sensors um, and we can see 360 degrees around the car. The average human can see about 120 degrees. So we've got full um, understanding of our surroundings. We can also see up to two football fields away, which is significantly better vision than, than what you or I probably have. Uh, I think the engineering team really cool. <laughs> And ultimately, the expectation is that there will be no driver needed. And what that really means is that you or I can get in the back seat of the car and with the press of a button, it will take us from point A to point B with no input needed. So there's a lot of energy and buzz around autonomous vehicles, but we're still a little ways out before we'll even see limited uh, real-world application of the technology.